I've seen so much in this yeah. game. Like, even training, like, you know, the, the Migos, Quavo, and Puff Daddy, and mm-hmm. all these celebrities. Wait, like, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait a minute. You know the Migos? I know, I know yeah. every single person. You know who's Quavo. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't look at me sure. like that. I just have to ask some questions. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Keep going. Don't put me in that box. <laughs> <laughs> like, the, like, training overseas. I was, in, I was in Riyadh for, like, three or four years and mm. back and forth. And I'm seeing what people are doing without training and i'm like man these i'm training people that make the millions of dollars to yeah. do this i can do this yeah. mm-hmm. like it's it's not like something that's not i can touch i can make a lot of money help my family and help a lot of people at the same time but you know what's interesting about all those people you just listed yeah they make millions of dollars but their movement quality is still just as bad as, as the next <laughs> you're right anybody on the street. terrible <laughs> terrible <laughs> <laughs> terrible same arm same leg yeah. so yeah. how do you go let, let's talk about training because yeah. Sometimes you get, you have to break people down, right? Oh my God! So it's almost at, at some point, and, and at, a lot of people. What we see is the product on Sunday. We yeah. see an Orlando Scandrick on a Sunday yeah. or an Odell Beckham on a Sunday, but what we don't see is the work that you have to tear somebody down to start them over again. Oh, What's that process like for you? So, so I'm in it right now. These guys are coming off season, yeah, mm-hmm. and they're beat up, right? And and I always go back to this like with the younger trainers. They want to just train them hard, put some cones out. I tell my guys, I don't want to see you till March 15th. Mm -hmm. Come on in, get ready for Cabo, get get some little quick pumps in. (laughs) Like, come in, get your physical therapy, Mm -hmm. get your recovery, you know, see the chiropractor. These are the things that, you know, kinesiology, biomechanics, they teach you. Because you can't just start doing single leg pistol squats (laughs) without making sure your knees and your ankles and your hips are good. Like. That's the process that these guys have to go through is the recovery phase. Mm-hmm. And and I think the, the hardest part about my job is, aside from social media and people trying to be cool on it, mm-hmm. is, like, you have to take a break. Mm-hmm. That, that vacation, Mercedes Lewis, 30, 37 years old, been in the league. 17, my, 18 se- years? 18 years. Yeah. If he does two more, he's got the record. And the first thing he did when he came in last night, he's like, let's just do some foundational work, mm-hmm. some band work, and a stretch. Because mm-hmm. I know I'm going to crank it up March 15th. You know, you know what, though? That's tough as a young trainer, and I went through this, because you think you've got to crush people to get quality, right? <sighs> For them to see it, this is worth it, you think you just got to crush, crush, crush. But what I love about your approach is you're taking a slow and steady, yes. build the foundation first. Mm-hmm. That's and that's hard. I mean, that translates to anything. Right. Anything that you do is building the foundation first. But I, I can I can remember as a young trainer thinking, no, I have to give them every single thing I got from day one yeah. or else they're not going to come back. That's they're not right. going to see the value in it. It's, it, it, it's, sad. it's re- sad. Relate that to. So most people that are listening are are not professional athletes. Okay. Right. And so how does that mindset translate in, in, in that line between? All right. Don't use it as an excuse to not do anything. Yeah. You're still working, still getting yeah. better, but really building that foundation, building the mobility, building the you know the, the small muscles that that help you on the on the big things. How does that how does that translate to your everyday businessman or woman? So it's funny. So we have a large group of non professional athletes at my gym, mm. and what I do there is I give them their own off seasons. Mm. There's three things in life: your birthday, New Year's, maybe a wedding or something mm. you have to get ready for. I train all my non-professional athletes um, like they're getting ready for the season. Mm. So we go hard for like three months. Mm-hmm. That's right. And then I say, I don't want to see you. Take a break. Go on vacation. Chill. Relax. And what that means is it's like your body has to go through phases. If, if you're going to start taking yoga, you got to prepare for that. Mm-hmm. If you want to be good at yoga, you're not going to be good at it the first week. Right. And it, that, it's hard. It's not easy. Right. So what I do is I literally take non-professional athletes – I give them the mindset of professional athletes. Mm. Not professional athletes trying to make the team. Mm-hmm. Professional athletes that have been in the game like seven, eight years. Yeah. Right. So right. it's like th- when they start hearing that and then the guys are walking in and they're like, oh, they're about to like power cling 225. And they're seeing them using TRX bands. <laughs> yeah. They're like, wait, 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 where's the heavy weight? I'm yeah. like, this is their first week here. Mm. Right. And especially if they've never trained with me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's a big misconception about, because I don't post a lot. I post enough. Mm -hmm. And so, like, you'll see the cool tennis ball and the lights and stuff, but they don't see the the, the six weeks, the first phase of Mm -hmm. OTA prep Mm -hmm. where it's just basic foundation work. Mm -hmm. Seeing the doctor more than they see me. So, like, when I tell my non-professional athletes this, they're mind blown. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. And so it's it's also too that I don't want to get them hurt. Well, right. I, put, no, I need you back. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah they're, they're worthless if they can't play. I, I, yeah. I've always yeah. been intrigued with because I know you 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 work with a lot of entertainers right. that aren't athletes, right? Right. So what's their mindset when when you have to work with an entertainer like oh, man. P Diddy or something oh, like that? Man. It's 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 interesting. It's I, I kind of get a kick out of it. I get a little like it's funny. It's funny, but it's like they they're a lot of times just like professional athletes. They've had their superpower yeah. their whole life. Right. So it's like they've been doing music or they've been like doing whatever it is their whole life. So they haven't been in that locker room atmosphere or going to practice or Oklahoma drills or whatever it is. You know what yeah. I mean? So they think. Because of the videos, that's what they're supposed to do. Or the, ah, oh, let's go, let's go. I'm like, no, let's, let's chill out. Let's chill out. But it's fun, though. It's it's exciting. It keeps me interested. Right. Um, and I like training people. Like, I don't care if you're a singer, man, woman, you're you're an architect, whatever. But if you have that mentality like an athlete, I want to train you. Yeah. It's the people that complain and want to push away, which right. I don't have a problem with either. I can break that easy. But I, I love the mentality that they think they have to have. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then I love when they know what it really is. Because yeah. then it transitions even more. Right. Mm-hmm. Then they're like, oh, wow, I, I don't have to do this? Like, mm-hmm. no one has to cheer me on to, right. to, to, to squat? Right. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's, it's funny. It's funny understanding that they don't come from this world, but right. they want to be in it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so you're, you're in a world that very few people have access to, right? right. You're having conversations with people that, that – people look on Instagram or look on the big screen or, or listen to, right? And it it's it's always so funny because everybody has this perception of who they are. Talk about, like, the fact that they're just real people with oh. real struggles, too. And I'm not saying, like, share anything, but, yeah. you know, but how real it is and how, like, okay, they you may think, I mean, you see, like, Brad Pitt walking down the road or you see, uh, or see Kanye or you see somebody like, oh, my gosh, like, that's, that's so-and-so. It's like, Man, they got their own issues just like all of us. All the, I mean, half of my clients have, you know, relationship issues. Mm-hmm. Like, regular people. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, they come in and they're like, man, my girl's on my case today. Mm-hmm. It don't matter how much money you have. Right. Your girl is going <laughs> to be on your case. <laughs> I, and, and it's kind of interesting, too, because it is, like, a level, though. So, like, one of my clients makes a lot of money. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I was like, hey, I was staying with him for a while. I was like, hey, um, I'm about to go to Chipotle. Mm-hmm. You want to go? He's like, you know, I can't go to Chipotle. I won't make it in the door. Mm, I was yeah. like, I, it didn't, I didn't yeah. click. He's just yeah. a normal person. You know what I mean? I was right. like, all right, well, cool. I'll go grab a burrito for you. Shit. And, and it's like, they can't even go to Target. Right. You know what oh, I mean? Yeah. And yeah. so it's like, damn, I didn't think about this. Yeah. But then the flip side of it, I'm walking down the street in the middle of Times Square with Puff Daddy. Yeah. And he's just casually walking down the street. And I'm just like, how, how does, does this, this work? You know yeah. what I mean? So yeah. it's like, I think it's cool, too. But at the same time, it's like. These guys go through so much, and they're under the like, the the media attention, yeah. the people, mm-hmm. the fans, and and I I feel sorry for them sometimes, but yeah. at the same time, it's like well, you have like a yacht, <laughs> so it's right. like yeah. can't be that bad. Yeah. Hey, 